The ballots have closed and the votes are in. After three months of campaigning, all Kemi Badenoch and Robert Jenrick can do now is hope they've done enough to become leader of the Conservative Party. The polls say Badenoch has the edge, but she's been insisting... Anything can happen. I think it's neck and neck. Jenrick, who's been trailing ever since reaching the final two, will be hoping that's true. He's put a set of policies on the table and taken every media opportunity to talk about them. I want to ensure that when you're starting out in life, you do have a decent salary. You can get on the housing ladder, you can get a good job. You know, these are really important things. And if we live in a country with low economic growth, where there aren't the opportunities, that's not going to be a good thing for anyone. So She's appeared on screens much less and instead will only talk about principles. Because I've been running a grassroots campaign, we will see which one works. But I think that you should go to the media when you have something to say, not just because the media needs content. Politicians are not content providers. But she has won herself a bit of a reputation. Well, do I seem prickly on this interview? What I am about is honesty and integrity. I don't like lies. I don't like misinformation. So if I feel that there are inaccurate things or untrue things, I will often push back. That's not being prickly. That's fighting for what's right. They've both, however, followed a rule set by party bosses to avoid blue-on-blue -blue attacks, until recently. Infighting broke out as the contest entered its final weeks. Badenoch has questioned her opponent's integrity, while Jenrick suggested the Tory party will die if he doesn't win. A huge task awaits whoever Conservative members elect as their leader, as they seek to resurrect a party decimated at the general election. While we don't know who the new leader will be, we do know where to find the old one. I will now be spending more time in the greatest place on earth. If anyone needs me, I will be in Yorkshire, so... Yay! His replacement will be announced at around 11am on Saturday.